Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 28th of August to the 1st of September 2017. Starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to run through a number of currency pairs looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. And we're also going to highlight some of the targets that we're looking for in the coming week and weeks ahead. So let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index, we can see the US dollar index has been a downtrend over here as we've discussed in the previous forecast and we're seeing this as a correction and we highlighted the 1200 area here as a potential resistance area which could push this to the downside and as you can see price has now started forming this kind of head and shoulders pattern here and we actually had a break of the neckline last week. So what we're looking for going into this week is the following. We are looking for further declines in the US dollar index and we're looking for a pullback, possibly a retest of this downward sloping trend line as you can see over here and possibly even up towards this orange line here at the 11,040 which as you can see in the past did act as a key area of support and resistance numerous times. So we're looking for a potential pullback and a retest of this area here and from here we are going to start to look for declines in the US dollar index and we're looking down towards targets which we've had for a while now at the 11,841 and also the 11,776. So we're viewing this as possibly the end now of this corrective move here and the next leg to the downside in the US dollar index. So we have a bearish bias on the US dollar index next week. Next we're going to have a look at oil. Now oil has been an over uptrend again as we've discussed in previous forecasts. We're viewing this just as a correction of the overall uptrend and we had this spike up here as you can see and after that for the last week or so we have actually just been bouncing around in this kind of range here. So we go into next week with a neutral bias on oil however it's a neutral to bullish bias because although we are in this range here and we're bouncing and we may even get another deeper test down towards these lows over here we are expecting this range to resolve itself to the upside and once we get a breakout of the top of the range over here, we're going to be looking to initiate some longs, uh, potentially in oil itself. And we're going to be looking up towards the 50.524 target and then a bit higher up towards the 5170 area up here in oil. So the first pair we're going to look at is the euro US dollar. Now the euro US dollar did finally break out of the downward sloping trend line here, which is what we were looking for. And the support area of 1.16820 as highlighted in the previous forecast did hold. And we said once we got a breakout of this, we were going to be looking up towards the 1.19680 and then the 1.20670. Now these two targets still stand. And as you can see, price is now making its way to the first target. What we're looking for next week is a little bit of a pullback potentially down towards the 1.18313 area, which as you can see was a key level of support and resistance in the past. So we're looking for a potential retest of this down here, and then we're going to be looking to initiate longs up towards the first target, and then also the second target on this pair to the upside. If you've got a position down here from last week, then this will be the second position that we're looking to add up towards these targets. The next pair we're going to look at is the pound US dollar. Now the pound has been fairly weak as you can see it's been moving down against the US dollar and last week we had a breakout of the downward sloping trend line over here. Uh, we also had a bounce from the key level of support at 1.27893. So we're looking for continued US dollar weakness next week so in the pound US dollar we're going to be looking for a pullback and possibly a retest of the downward sloping trend line here before we look to initiate longs on this pair first of all up to the target of the 1.29180. And then if we get a breakthrough here, we're going to be looking up towards the 1.30476 in the pound US dollar. However, just bear in mind the pound is a fairly weak currency at the moment as well. So if we do get a test of the first target up here, if the pound is weak and the US dollar is weak, we may start to see this range and we could even be on for a move back down to the 1.27893. So just bear that in mind if we are trading the pound US dollar next week. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar franc. Now the US dollar franc has been ranging in this kind of wedge formation here 
for the last week or so and the reason is because the US dollar has been weak and so is the franc but as you can see last week we had a bit of strength coming into the franc now as a result of that we had a breakout of this wedge formation over here however the only problem we have on the US dollar franc is we ran straight into this key level of support 0 0.95493 so we are looking for continued weakness in the US dollar franc next week however what we want to see first is a break of this support level then we're going to look for some accumulation under here and then this will be the perfect opportunity to start to look to initiate shorts in this pair down towards the 0 0.94983 which is the next key area of support on this pair. If however the Swiss franc strength starts to subside next week then we could see a bounce from this support and this could get quite choppy. Now if it does that the US dollar franc is probably best left alone next week uh, for better opportunities in the markets. The next pair we're going to look at is the Aussie US dollar. Now we've been looking for the Aussie US dollar to continue the uptrend from over here. We were looking at this just as a correction. It's a fairly choppy move here. We had this momentum push to the upside and after this we were looking for this kind of corrective move to take place. And as a result, when we got down to the key area of support and our second retest at the 0 0.78796, we, uh, we actually have a position in this from last week already. And we are viewing this push here to be the first push of the breakout of this corrective pattern here. So next week we are looking to initiate uh, a second position in the Aussie US dollar and we're going to be looking to initiate longs. And we're going to be looking to initiate those longs pretty much on any small pullback we get down into this area. And we're going to be looking back up towards the targets which we've had highlighted for a while which is the 0 0.80381 followed by the psychological level of the 0 0.8100 and then we have the overall target to the upside at the 0 0.81633 on the Aussie US dollar and hopefully we can get uh, some more positions all the way up to this target over here which is bound to take uh, a number of weeks. The next pair we're going to look at is a New Zealand US dollar. Now last week we were expecting a push to the upside of New Zealand US dollar but in fact we got a sell off over here as you can see. And we came down to key level of support over here at the 0 0.72016. And we bounced from this key level of support last week. And if we are looking for a decline in the US dollar index in the week or weeks ahead, we could expect the New Zealand US dollar to push to the upside. So if we get a bounce from the support area, we're going to be looking up towards the 0 0.73307 as the next key area of support. Now the New Zealand has been fairly weak and so if the US dollar is fairly weak we can expect this kind of potential range to start forming until one of them becomes uh, significantly stronger than the other and they start to diverge in their strength and then we will see a breakout one way or, an, or another. If however the New Zealand proves to be exceptionally weak next week and we actually get a break below the 0 0.72016 we're going to be looking for some accumulation in this area and we do also have a target to the downside of the 0 0.71091 if the New Zealand US dollar does break the key level of support at the 0 0.72016. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar Japanese yen. Now the US dollar Japanese yen as you can see has been in an overall downtrend and we had this push to the downside making new lows over here. Following that push to the downside, we started to have this kind of corrective pattern, as you can see over here. And we are sitting at a key level of support and resistance from the past, as you can see. Tested it once and twice over here. And so with the weakness in the US dollar index, we are expecting a continuation of this push to the downside now to take place next week. And we're looking for a pullback, possibly back up into this kind of area before we look to initiate shorts in the US dollar Japanese yen. And we're going to be looking to initiate those shorts down towards the target of the 108.180. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar CAD. Now the US dollar CAD was weak last week. Uh, we highlighted from this kind of area that we were looking for a decline in the US dollar CAD because we were looking for some weakness in the US dollar and we're also looking for a bit of strength in oil. And as we know, oil positively and negatively affects the Canadian dollar depending on which way it's going. So if oil is pushing to the upside, it has a positive influence on the Canadian dollar. And if oil is pushing to the downside, it has a negative influence on the Canadian dollar. So as we are looking for weakness in the US dollar index next week, and we have a neutral to bullish bias on oil, we are expecting further declines in the US dollar CAD. And in fact, we are actually in the US dollar CAD short from about this area over here. But we are approaching a key level of support at the 1.24607. 
Now, what we really want to see next week is a break below this key area of support and a retest possibly as resistance. And then we're going to look to initiate shorts or a second position in the US dollar CAD. And we're going to be looking to initiate those shorts down towards the target of the 1.23515, which is the next key area of support below the 1.24607 that we're looking at in the US dollar CAD. The next pair we're going to look at is the pound franc. Now the pound franc has been in a downtrend as you can see, making lower lows, lower highs, pushing down lower lows, lower highs, all the way back from over here. And we're looking for a continuation of this downtrend now next week. And as you can see, we broke through a key level of support, the 1.23487, tested over here. You can see it goes back all the way over here as well. And we sat above this and now we broke down at the end of last week in the pound franc. As a result, this week we are looking for a pullback and a retest of the broken support level at the 1.23487 and we're looking to initiate shorts from this area and we're going to be looking to initiate those shorts down towards the target of the 1.22415 next week. And the final pair we're going to look at this week is the pound Oz. Now you can see the pound Oz broke below the 1.62783 which was a key area of support from over here. Now that the pound Oz has broken through there, we are looking for further declines to the downside. But what we're looking for next week is a pullback and a possible retest of the key area of support which was broken over here at the 1.62783. And we're looking for this to become now resistance. So we're looking for a test of this support term resistance. And from here, this will be a great opportunity to look to initiate shorts. And we're looking to initiate those shorts down towards the 1.600 psychological area, which is the next key area of support to the downside in the pound Oz. So that is it from me for this week, guys. As always, if you like this video, please let me know by liking, sharing, and subscribing. To those of you who have already subscribed and who like and share these videos on a regular basis, I'd just like to take this time to thank you all and just tell you how much I appreciate you all. I hope you all had a good weekend. I hope you all have a fantastic week next week. Take care and don't forget to trade safely.